Hey guys, Virtus here and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 beginner tutorial series and in today's episode we're going to be taking a quick look at how you can create yourself a very simple sprint system. So all of this is going to be created in blueprints and it's essentially going to allow you to change the character speed based on a input, that being the shift key. So if I go ahead and jump into the game here and show you exactly what we're going to be creating, uh, you can see for yourself. So when I press shift, the player starts running quicker and it plays this cool sort of uh, boot dust particle effect. So that's pretty much what we're going to be creating today. We're going to be breaking it down to make it very easy and simple to follow along and hopefully getting you to recreate such a system. So taking a quick look at the blueprint here, we're just going to break, down, uh, break it down for you. So all of this system is inside of the third person character uh, blueprint. So having said that, you are going to need to use um, either the third person character, uh, third person um, template for this or the first person and you should be able to follow along no problem so basically what we've got here is we've got an input a set function an activate function and a delay and that's all pretty much going to be making up the system and then we've got a few other little components bits and bobs but um anyway let's just go ahead and uh start recreating this for you so the first thing we're going to need to do is create some kind of input for the player for the sprint so when the player actually presses a button it's going to do something so let's go ahead and start off by right clicking in the third person uh character blueprint to get to that just go to third person bp in the content browser go to blueprints and then find it now if you're using your own project or whatever it may be somewhere else but just make sure you find the player uh, blueprint that is what you need to work with here so once you're in here just go ahead and right click in uh, right click in the event graph and go to input if you can't see it just scroll up and down and you'll find it so go to input and then we're going to go for a uh, keyboard event. A keyboard event is when the pr when a player presses a button on the keyboard. Now, just because I'm used to it, we're going to use the shift key for that. Um, so we're just going to scroll down here until we find shift. And it should come under left shift or something similar. There we go, left shift. Now we've got this node in here, we've got two things. We've got pressed and we've got released. So we're essentially going to be trying to um, change the player speed when it's pressed and then when they let go of it to release it, it's going to change it back to the default value. So to do that, we need to work with something um, and that's going to be the character, uh, character movement. So if you just right click and type in character movement, you can actually get the component for that. You just got to scroll all the way down and you will find it in here somewhere just keep typing it in until you find it sorry character movement and then scroll down all the way to the bottom and you'll get it there you go get character movement and from there we can drag this out and create all the functions that we need based on character movement so just go ahead and click the little circle here drag and place a new node and what we're going to be using for this is set max speed that's the name of the uh of of the uh, function that we're going to be using and this function is just going to essentially allow us to change the maximum speed of the character so let's go ahead and create that so type in set set max walk speed there is a set max walk speed fly speed and so on seeing as we're walking um, we're just going to go with that and that's pretty much how our project is set up and we're going to want to create two of these because we were going to have one for setting it and releasing it so if we go ahead and press uh, hookup pressed to set and then released to set over here when it releases it it's going to set to zero when it's pressed it's going to set to zero now these values um, are you know you've got to adjust them to get it all right um, so if you go ahead and press play possess and if you go ahead and press shift as that's going to set the walk speed to zero it's actually going to stop you in your tracks so you need to adjust these values to get the sprint that you're after so for me i'm going to go ahead and change the sprint to something like 2000 yeah 2000 and then i'm going to go ahead and change the released speed to 500 which is about the normal walking speed so go ahead and press play possess and now if you press shift he starts getting faster and then when you let go he slows down again to the normal speed. Now, if you don't want the player to be sprinting indefinitely, what you can do actually is use a delay so he can only sprint for a certain amount of time. So 
if you go over to the pressed bit and you follow along the blueprint and after the walk speed has been changed what you can do is hook that up to a delay and after a certain amount of time you can hook it up to setting it back to normal so you can't keep sprinting so with this delay node you just right click and type in delay and then you just jump in just like that and you can put it in there and then you can um, adjust the duration here to control that so our duration uh, for this is going to be five seconds so if I go ahead and press play possess jump in and I press shift it's going to start sprinting and it will stop after five seconds and there we go it slowed down even though I'm still holding the shift key pretty simple really now if you wanted to you can add in all kinds of other stuff all kinds of attachments and things um, like I showed you in the uh, beginning I actually showed you how to add in a particle system to that that's quite simple actually you just got to create a new component once again in the third person blueprint uh, character just go ahead and add component and then we're just gonna add in a particle system the reason for using a particle system is we can add this cool effect and we can toggle it on and on using functions quite easily. So once we've got that, you can name it whatever you want. Um, I'm going to type this sprint and smoke, sprint smoke, just like that. And then I'm going to add a particle system to it. So I'm just going to type in smoke to find any old smoke particle system that you have with you. I'm going to use boot smoke. It's one that I know is going to work. Now, if you wanted to, you can play around with a few things with this particle system. You can play around with the speed that it uh, comes out of the player using the custom time dilation, which basically just speeds it up or down. One being the normal play rate and then five being five times. Um, so if I go ahead and press play and then jump in you can see it's following the player at the moment. The reason for that is because it's activating itself, but you can see our smoke looks pretty good at five times. If we change it to one, it's probably not gonna look so good, as you can see. It's just a couple of puffs. So we're gonna leave that back at five, and we're gonna adjust this so it does not play by itself. So to do that, just go ahead and scroll down, and go to auto activate, and just uncheck that. Now we've done that, we can go back to the event graph and we can uh, it script in the functionality. We're just going to be using the activate and then sprint smoke. So activate and deactivate, you can pretty much figure out how they can work and what we're going to hook this up to. So activate, we're going to hook this up into the set node and we're also going to put the delay in, so just put it in between the delay and the set and then on the deactivate just put it in again deactivate and then sprint smoke and we're going to drag this little da this thing down here pop that down there and hopefully it should all work for us so let's just go ahead and press play possess the character you can see when we get in here if we press shift it plays and when it stops sprinting it should also stop smoking and there we go, it's as simple as that. Now you can add more complex um, aspects and effects and stuff to the sprint system, um, but that's pretty much everything that I wanted to teach you for this episode. Thanks for watching, comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.